Hello everyone, Flexi McFlexi face here. Now before we do anything, I do want to address a certain Reddit post I made recently. It's very hard to convey a build like the labs in one photo and 200 characters without sounding like a complete twat. So I do apologise for sounding a bit arrogant in them. But yeah, I, I you just I, I've just got to strip them right back, and 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 there's so much working stuff in the lab that without without filling it up with all that sort of bullet points, almost like it sounds a bit sensationalist. I do I do understand it, and and I've got to put a question in there as well because because I, I've been advised put a question in there because it gets more response in the feedback section. So I always put a question in there. So to fit all of that into 200 characters and one photo, because they're really stingy on that art gaming, it's really hard. But yeah, I do apologise. I do try not to sound like a, a, a smarty pants look at me in my videos. But but anyway, you've subscribed at the right time. I think we got about 15 people from that. So we're, we're, close, we're almost at 200 already. Almost, almost there. But yeah, you came at a good time because this is the 100 subscriber download now basically i want people to use this as a resource pack so how i've kind of configured it there's there's five downloads all told this is the world download so come on here first have a little look around because um because i've structured it a certain way and then and then the other four are the resource packs and i say four because there was only three um, um but I, I thought we best add a sink to the to the list because it's not a bathroom without a sink and it turned out really nice anyway um, but yeah, anyway, let's go have a look. Okay, so when you spawn in, this is where you should spawn in. And I've tried to make this as idiot proof as I possibly can. So what we've got here is we've got the working models over on this side over here. And then on this side is, is what you will get in the schematic form. Now, the reason why you've got two different versions is because when you when you start copy and pasting devices, um, it, it triggers observers. So basically what I've had to do is kind of neutralize all these versions down here so that you can move them about, you can rotate them, put them into place, um, trim them up as well because there's, there's, there's a lot of space on these that, are, um, that you can trim off. Um, if you'll see on the schematics, uh, uh, I've put these little blocks, the, uh, the sea lanterns. Basically what they're there for is just to aid you in, in copy and pasting it so you've got the corner coordinates. So you just make one coordinate over there, another coordinate over there, or do whatever, you know, with stru structure blocks or whatever. And um, and yeah, and then you can copy and paste it. And then what you do is just follow the instructions inside the shulker boxes for each one, and they'll tell you how to get them functioning. But I'm gonna show you that in a sec anyway, but let's just have a look at them working first, shall we? Okay, so first up, we got the shower. So basically it's just a, sing a single action, this one. You just go up. I say that I have pimped this one as well because it didn't have lights in it before, so I've put lights in it now. But then, yeah, you just basically press the button and then you get the steam shower. These all light up so that you've got steam coming. And yeah, press the button to turn it off. And it's nice how it comes out a little hatch instead of dropping out through the roof. I think that's a nice little touch on this one. But yeah, that's your shower. And yeah, we might as well take a little peek around the outside for anyone that hasn't seen it. It's got a really nice... Uh, this would really fit at the tightest cavity, uh, wall cavity, you know, it doesn't doesn't take up much space in that direction at all. And uh, a little bit more space in the bottom, but overall it's not too bad for its, for its function. Um, then, and next, next we have the, uh, the toilet. Now, uh, the toilet, so basically um, anyone that hasn't seen the video on the toilet, you come up, you open it up, you do your business, flush the toilet flush and then and then you heard it flush then so if you look back in there the water's back in there and then and then you twist the thing for a, a bit of uh, toilet paper and then once you've taken your toilet paper you can just go throw it back in there and the whole thing leads around the back and another one that's quite a thin um quite a thin footprint really it's not that much that does irritate me I should fix that at some point I'm sure I can fix that I can probably make it go around this side but then um but but yeah anyway that's it is what it is um but yeah that's that one uh and then we have the hot tub so yeah coming up press that and then that starts the bubbles um, I would like to get steam on this, but this one's due a this one's due a version two, I think. I will upgrade this at some point, and then just press it, and it puts it away quite nicely. And then this one. So 
the sink that the, the, this, this collection didn't have. And I love this sink. It's, we've got loads of functions, so let's just have a look. This is the redstone on it. It's got it's got very little redstone, and and when these don't really matter, I'll show you why I've put them in there in a sec. But look at this for a lovely sink. It's got three functions, so you can only really see two of them there. What we we'll do is we we'll go we we'll go demonstrate a different way in a sec, but you see it. But so basically, we've got it fills up with water. Then we get the steam, and also it's a vanity mirror. So, you know, with vanity mirror with the lights that are behind it. So it lights up as a vanity mirror. It's got three functions in one, and it's absolutely tiny. And the thing I love about the sink and the toilet, if you look at the sort of footprints of, these, of both those two contraptions, this one and this one, they're very small. So you can use them in downstairs toilets and stuff like that, and sort of en suites maybe. Um, the shower's a bit more chunky, but you know, that maybe them three contraptions, it really doesn't take up that much space. And uh, and as I was saying, a lot of this is aesthetic. When you look at, um, I've put the, I've put the um, copy and paste call, uh, corners. Uh, I've been a bit generous. You can be, you can snip off loads with these. If you look at where the actual redstone comes out to, you can snip off at, at least another block on that side and that side. Um, and across the top as well, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, you can go across the top on that one. And the same with a lot of them. This this is the only one that's trimmed to the max. Um, but the rest of them, you can really trim them up, especially this one. And if you didn't see the video on this one, I really think this one suits a corner. I did it like this just because it's a demonstration piece. But this is a really nice corner piece. So if you've got the corner of your, of your bathroom, whack this in the corner, it looks really, really, really nice. Um, but yeah. And anyway, and as I said, all of these will contain all the bits and bobs you need to make them work, but we're gonna show you show you them in a sec. Um, okay, and this is why um, I put glowstone on the outside, because steps and stuff like that are partially transparent. You get this nice sort of back glow to them, and I just think it makes the build look so much more interesting when you walk into a room uh, when it's night and stuff. And yeah, and it just looks like this. Just one thing I will say, um, and I mean, you can remove that back row, like I said, and give yourself another sort of, uh, make it a little bit thinner, uh, uh, but it will just dull down this effect a little bit because you've still got the side bit. So don't worry if you do cut a bit off, but just make sure you do it evenly. Don't do it on one side and then not do it on the other because it, it will look slightly strange. Uh, but yeah, and you can probably see the, uh, there we go. And that's the vanity, the vanity mirror. But yeah, and we've got a bit of a bug going on in this corner. Oh, there we go, there we go. Um, but yeah, so that's the van. That's the that's the uh, that's the sink. Turn that one off. Okay, so as I said, my intention is that you're going to use these as a sort of uh, uh, a sort of resource pack, you know. So when you go and build a ma build a mansion, and you're building the bathroom, you'll come in. I've put all the um, schematic file names in on the bottoms here. So yeah, redstone hot tub one. I've put a one at the end of all of them, just simply because. Um, maybe if maybe I might do a version two of each of these. But either way, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how each one works. There is instructions in each of these, so you've got a redstone sink manual that just basically, as I said, I want to make it absolutely foolproof so that people know what to do. Uh, but yeah, I'll quickly show you what to do. So this one at the minute, do not go pressing buttons and stuff like that before you've made it ready because this one, all you've got to do is come round remove that single obsidian block and now boom you have a working sink so next with this one similar job it's just a matter of removing the the, the obsidian but with this one you've got 16 blocks of, of, of obsidian sorry so you've got eight up here so oh sorry let's just remove these eight from the top And then come down here and then look underneath. Usually you're best off starting in this corner over here and just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So now that should be in functioning order. Boom. So now you have a working hot tub put that one away right now with this one this one's one of the more complex ones 
in a sense. Uh, let me just grab a few of the things in here. Um, let me just grab this. You're going to need this bucket and you're going to need this item frame and you're going to need the skeleton skull. Okay, so what you do is you come up to the side here. This is the easiest side because I've got this little bit of decorative banner on the other side. Um, so you look in this side, you go put that there and you put the bucket in there. Anywhere will do, doesn't matter where you put it, just put the bucket in there. Next, you come around to here, you remove the sign from here. You place that there and then you put that in there. You will get one spit out, but you can always put that in the back. Oh, wait, well, why put it in the back when you've got a bin there? You can just chuck it in the bin. Um, so now this should be functioning. So let's just give it a quick check. Yeah, it's flushed. Refilled. Nice. I'm going to turn that back. Just my OCD kicks in. It has to be up the other way. Um, right. And then the shower. So we are going to uh, have a quick look at the shower. What do we do here? Let me think, right, this is another quite complicated one. So what we're gonna do, this is observers. Now, if I just switch to observers, I get some observers out, pop some observers in there. Now, the, the simple thing with this one is at least all the observers are facing down. So anywhere that you see one of these horrid um, terracotta blocks, you need to swap it for an observer. So what we're gonna do is just and it needs to be facing down like that. So the current in this case is passing upwards. Every single one needs to be like that. So that one, 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 and then the middle ones as well. I'm gonna stop saying that one because you get the idea. Boom, right, so now that should be ready for use. So let's go give it a quick check. Do we have steam? Yeah, we have steam, it's flaming down all of them. And then turning it off, make sure that works. There we go, it's a nice tidy little package, this one. And I, there's a few, I'm not too keen on this one, this one needs work. Super happy with how this turned out. It's so simple, so simple. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And as I said, you can snip all these up. Um, but then, um, yeah, and do what you want with it. Just, I will say, if you are redoing the aesthetics on these, just make sure if you're doing a step block, I would advise using a different kind of step block for these type of these things. Well, it, I'd advise you have to in places like here. And I mean, you don't have to here and here, but. It just, it would clash if you don't. So yeah, just, 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 just do, do what you want, do what you want, do what you want with it. And then I kind of hope for this to be used as a resource pack that, that, that it doesn't matter if you're a aesthetics kind of builder that just likes to build houses, you can use this to get a bit of interactivity in your, in your builds. Or if you're a redstoner, you know, you can use this to kind of tie that seam a lot of the time. It's hard, it's, it is hard to get redstone pretty. I mean, this took me like several hours of messing about just to get it looking nice and getting as much fu function in it as possible. And I do understand where the difficulties arise in getting it look pretty. So hopefully it will tie the scene for you a little bit and uh, and and help you in making some a bit more prettier builds. But then I've gibbered on enough anyway. But yeah, I hope you enjoy, all enjoy these builds. I will say I do have my next big redstone mansion on the go at the minute. And, and I'm kind of getting a bit ahead of myself because I think uh, I'm trying to get the floor plan in and stuff like that before I commence with the redstone because I like to do redstone when I can really dedicate a bit more time to it. And while we still got a lot of daylight hours, I don't have a lot of time, but the hours are definitely closing in now here in the UK at least. So I am getting a bit more time now, but hopefully in the next sort of few weeks, I'm going to be able to start really plowing on with that and getting that done. Um, but then, yeah, I do apologise as well. You know, there's a lot of stocking fillers when you do my type of building because it takes such a long time to put things together. As I know, a lot of you are probably lured to the channel with this sort of, you know, the big sort of lab and all of that sort of stuff and all my mansions and stuff. Um, um, but they do take ages to build, as I said. So you have to kind of put up the little stocking fillers and maybe listen about my chickens or my stupid cats that are meowing at the window at the minute. Uh, but yeah, that's the kind of planned future. But then as soon as I'm finished with that build, um, I will be moving back over to the lab because there is, I do want to get another wall in. I kind of want to kind of periodically get a wall done every so often with that. 
But the problem is my next two walls both include quite big contraptions that are kind of a bit out of my comfort depth. But even this mansion that I'm building at the minute, this is definitely out of my comfort my comfort zone. I'm, I'm pushing myself a bit. Um, but then, um, but I do find that's how you get the really good builds when you kind of learn a few new new tricks as you go along. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop gibbering now. I hope you've enjoyed this one and do enjoy my first ever download. But anyway, I've been Beardy Blocks, AKA Flexi McFlexface from Reddit. Bye bye. Beardy Blocks. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa.